Hi, good afternoon. I like to welcome you to Palm Praise too. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now, I do have uh, African American poetry for you today. Right now, we are going to go uh, over the poem. It's called Song of the Sun, S-O-N. And here is the picture. Do you see it? And this particular poem is by Jean Toomer. During the time period of 1894 to 1967, and it goes like this. Now, born in Washington, D.C., D.C. Toomer attended college in New York City, among other places. In 1924, excuse me, in 1921, a four-month visit to Sparta, Georgia, had the biggest impact on his writing career. Out of that visit came Toomer's amazing book of poetry and fiction, Cain, 1923, in which this poem appears, set in the South, Song of the Sun, celebrates the finer aspects of the old-time black culture of African Americans as they suffered under the hardships of bondage and racial segregation. Now for the words that are going to appear in this poem, the meaning are as follows. Sawdust. From cutting down pine trees for lumber. Pine smoke from burning the sawdust. Profligate, plentiful, epoch, or epoch, E-P-O-C-H, an important period of history, caroling, singing. And here is Song of the Sun. Poor, oh poor, that parting soul and song. Oh poor it in the sawdust glow of night. Into the velvet pine smoke air tonight. And let the valley carry it along. And let the valley carry it along. O oh, land and soil. Red soil and sweet gum tree, so scant of grass, so profligate of pines. Now just before an epoch's sun declines, thy sun, in time I have traveled to thee. Excuse me. Thy sun. In time, I have returned to thee. Thy son, I have in time returned to thee. In time, for though the sun is setting on, a song-lit race of slaves, it has not set. Though late, O soil, it is not too late yet to catch thy plaintive soul leaving soon gone. Leaving to catch thy plaintive soul soon gone. O Negro slaves, dark purple ripened plums, squeeze and bursting in the pine wood air. Mm -hmm. Passing 
before they stripped the old tree bare. O plum was saved for me. One seed becomes an everlasting song, a singing tree, caroling softly souls of slavery. What they were and what they are to me, caroling softly souls of slavery. That does complete the song of the sun. Please stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 for Tabaloo for Donald Duff County Cullen during the time period of 1903 to 1946. That will be the next poem I'll have for you here on Poem Praise 2. Coming out of the African American poetry. So I want you to be well, take care, and may peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. And until next time, <laughs> later y'all.